In six days God created the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. He doesn't give us a whole lot of details on how he did that. He spoke life into existence, but how exactly did the molecules come together? Did atoms form molecules, molecules form higher? Some? He doesn't give us the details, so scientists want to go and investigate things, and you can be investigating the origin of life and still be a, an ardent believer in the scriptures, right. because you're looking for details that God never revealed to us in the scriptures, but he put science before us to begin to, to understand, okay, that's how you did it. And it wasn't until the 1950s when they discovered that all of this is written in the DNA, in the genome, in the structure of the DNA, and it codes for the proteins which are nature's nanomachines which construct our bodies. Prior to the 1950s, we didn't know how God did this. So a person may say, oh, well, you know, it's just a miracle. Well, it, and it, it is miraculous that this thing is there, but there's an explanation for that happening. And uh, uh, so he gives us, through the sciences, he gives us understanding. And this is a good thing because now, that we understand DNA and we understand its structure. And when I look at the data on origin of life, it screams out to me that the way you are proposing is not the way it happened.